Former US President Donald Trump's Facebook and Instagram accounts have been suspended for two years by Facebook Inc. In January, he was banned indefinitely from both sites in the wake of posts he made about the US Capitol riots, but Facebook's oversight board slammed the indefinite ban last month. Mr. Trump's actions were described by Facebook as a serious violation of our standards. Mr. Trump called the measure an insult to the millions of people who voted for him in the presidential election last year. Facebook's action coincides with the expiration of a policy that exempted lawmakers from some content moderation regulations. It stated that politicians would no longer be immune from false or abusive materials because their views were noteworthy. According to Facebook's Vice President of Global Affairs Nick Clegg, Mr. Trump's ban was effective from the day of the original suspension on 7 January. Given the gravity of the circumstances that led to Mr. Trump's suspension, we think his actions constituted a serious violation of our rules that warranted the most severe penalty available, the statement continued. If we conclude that there is still a substantial risk to public safety, we will extend the ban for a certain amount of time and re-evaluate until the risk has passed. Mr. Trump will be subjected to a rigorous set of quickly escalating sanctions upon his return, according to Mr. Clegg's statement. What has been Mr. Trump's response? Facebook's judgment is an insult to the record-setting 75 million people, plus many others, who voted for us, Mr. Trump said in a statement released by his Save America Political Action Committee. They should not be permitted to get away with their censorship and silence, and we will eventually triumph. This abuse will no longer be tolerated in our country. Mr. Trump assailed Facebook's founder in a second statement on the two-year ban. There will be no more dinners with Mark Zuckerberg and his wife the next time I'm in the White House, at his request, the former president remarked. It'll be all business, says the narrator. Mr. Trump will be able to return to Facebook before the presidential election in 2024 as a result of Facebook's decision. It also comes as he prepares to hold large-scale in-person rallies, which were a hallmark of his presidential campaigns and presidency. According to local media, one of his first stops will be in Dallas, Texas, in early July. Earlier this week, it was revealed that Mr. Trump's communications platform, from the desk of Donald J. Trump, had been permanently shut down in the aftermath of his social media prohibitions. Mr. Trump has been banned from Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitch, and other social media platforms in the aftermath of the January riots, in addition to Facebook, which has over 2 billion monthly users. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a Trump supporter, enacted the first bill in the U.S. to penalize digital companies for deplatforming politicians last month. What is the new Facebook policy? Public personalities who incite disturbance or violence, according to Facebook, will be suspended for a month or, in more serious cases, up to two years. It's part of a larger effort to reverse a former policy of allowing noteworthy political expression despite the risk of harm. Posts that are deemed worthy of an exemption despite potential infractions may still be permitted, but Facebook will issue a warning label. According to the corporation, material posted by politicians will no longer be treated differently. Instead, we'll simply apply our newsworthiness balancing test to all content, in the same manner, determining whether the content's public interest value surpasses the risk of harm posed by leaving it up. The company's oversight board said that Mr. Trump's original restriction was reasonable, but that the prohibition should not be extended forever. The 20-member independent board, which is sponsored by Facebook, has the authority to make binding content decisions. Legal scholars, journalists, experts on freedom of speech, and a former Danish prime minister are among the members. The announcement comes as European and UK regulators begin official antitrust investigations into whether Facebook mishandled customer data. What are your views on this? Let me know in the comments section below.